Okay, evening ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon, or good morning, depending on what time you're watching this video. I want to just very quickly go over something that I find foxes or confuses quite a lot of people who use Lightroom, and that's to do with digital asset management, and this panel over here, the folders panel, and it's basically... Mm, <laughs> they have problems getting their heads around the idea that you can move pictures files and folders from within lightroom now that's something a lot of people do in um, explorer if they're on a, um, a windows machine or they do in finder on a mac all the time the only thing is um, Lightroom has a bit of a problem with you doing that and I'll show you the problem um, if I go to this SEQ folder and I go show in finder and there is the folder if I just move it just into there for instance right now we can see the folder showing up there and if I come back to uh, our grid view you can see I've got exclamation marks that means um, Lightroom's going where'd my pictures gone okay so we can go and click locate or we can type the um, file number into um, the search bar on either a Windows or a, a Mac machine and we can go and find it that way um, but I'm just gonna click cancel and I know where I've uh, sort of screwed up and all I'm going to do is grab the folder and put it back where it goes and um, now you can see the exclamation marks have gone because the pictures are back where Lightroom says they should be now I want to move these pictures I don't want them in that folder for instance um, so quite simply I can drag and drop and into a folder that's um, already within the Lightroom folder structure and just click move and um, it will just hopefully move the images and there it has uh, there it is it's moved them from a subdirectory of pictures into a subdirectory of desktop now we can also create folders on other drives that aren't in our existing folder con drive um, structure within the Lightroom catalog simply by adding folder and then we can come down here and select and um, I know I'll select my Photoshop scratch disk just for this demonstration and so we've got the scratch disk selected I'm going to type new folder and I will just call this folder drop and we'll go create and we'll go choose and suddenly you can see in my folders um, panel my scratch disk has suddenly appeared and if I clickety click the little uh, twirly arrow there I can see drop and that drop has zero images in it now I can grab that sequence file or SEQ file with my images in and move it into that drop folder and it'll say moving files on disk move and now you'll see because we're looking at the sequence folder um, you saw all the pictures disappear and if we go into drop there we go and of course because we are within the existing Lightroom catalog the develop settings that we've got applied to these images stay with the images no matter where we put them okay so there we go quite a simple brief um, but hopefully succinct and easily easy to understand lesson in how to manage file locations within the Lightroom catalog okay so I'll see you soon